I think realistically he's related to half of the people in the city of Des Moines. <laughs> Willie Farrell joining us right yeah. now. Wilfredo, hey, my yeah. goodness, you, you are back. You are alive. Yes, it uh, it was it was crazy, and you're right. If, if somebody's got a vowel at the end of their name, they're probably related to me. Uh, <laughs> but the, the but, bottom uh, line yeah, is, uh, we it, found out the other day, Willie, that you yes. were off the radar for a while because right. you picked up COVID nineteen. Yes, I, I I made the mistake of uh, um, uh, I had it. I was booked to do it uh, Vegas uh, early early March, uh, you know, 14th, 15th around there around uh, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, they gave me the out. My, the, the, the club there, they're good guys. They gave me the out. They said, you don't have to come. I said, ah, I'm going to go do it. Went and did two shows before they closed down the town. And uh, and it was crazy. I mean, I, I've never seen Vegas like this. I mean, they're put, they're boarding up the Bellagio. But uh, I was lucky enough to get out of town. I came home, and my wife just went right into uh, sergeant mode, man. She just, uh, as soon as she knew I was in, she said, you were in Vegas. You know, you were in the Petri dish of where things are happening. And, uh, and that was it. That would, she just, uh, I went up to the bedroom like a Rapunzel. She <laughs> stayed on the main floor and, uh, and Claudia went down in the, down in the basement. And, uh, that's, and that's the way it's been, uh, uh ever since it's been and, over a month and we've, uh, you know, and then you had to go but through anyway, this, but again, we, but the thing was, we invited you to come and, and guest host on this show. And yes. that's when you mentioned, no, oh, I have to go to Vegas. Yes. And, and the funny thing is, is when I got back in Vegas, when she wanted to quarantine us right off the bat, I was like, there's no, I'm okay, I'm fine, but I, I, it was like literally the next day, uh, I, I, I started to get the cough, I, I, the fever started, and uh, and I was going to, we, we, and I was self-medicating, she, Jenny was taking good care of me, and Claudia was, but uh, it got to a point one night where the cough got so bad, it, it scared me. Uh, I've got a stent, I'm 64 years old, so they took, took me to Methodist, where they were absolutely fantastic, they gave me the test, and I found out I had it. Wow. And, uh, now, and is that the test then, when they when came home? Is that the test where they take that bamboo stick and they shove it way the, up into, the, into your head? The, ja the, the javelin? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, when they take the javelin and they see if they can touch the back of your neck. Yeah, that's that's the one. Okay. Yeah. Did but, they succeed uh, at touching the back of your neck? Yeah, it was fine because it didn't have to go through any brains. So uh, it just went, to, went straight through. Uh, but, uh, yeah, then we found out, and then, then that was the tough part because beforehand uh, my wife was uh, – we, we were treating it like a flu or something, so – you know, I was taking my Tylenol PM and my NyQuil and that kind of stuff. But once I found out I had it, it was basically you get off everything and you let it just play its way through. Wow. And, um, uh, yeah, the, uh, I, I couldn't sleep well. And, and the cough, Lou, that's the thing. That, that, that cough, and I can't even imagine the people that are, have to be on ventilators because I didn't have to be on one, thank God. But uh, it, it gets so deep inside you, it's scary. Now, you said it, it, would you say it felt, it felt like shards of glass or something in, in yes, your lungs? Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, have you ever been where, where you got a cough and you got something that's bothering you? So what you try to do is you try to take a deep breath to get it out. You know, that kind of like, I'm just going to cough this thing out, whatever it is. Yeah. I was scared to do that. I was scared to take a deep breath because it hurt so bad that I, I was scared if, if I tried to take a deep breath, I, I, I don't know what would happen. And I don't know if I How long did this out. last? How long did these feelings last? Uh, I, I, a couple weeks. It was uh, it was a couple of weeks of just I mean just misery and uh, and like I said when when I was medicated I was I was I was hit that Nyquil like oh, I was at a at a, at a, a fraternity party uh, <laughs> oh, would, no. and the um, and the uh, the the Tylenol PM I was taking the Tylenol PM during the AM during whenever it just I just wanted to be out and 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 a part where they don't mention and I've talked to a couple other people that have had it is uh, the depression was the worst part I I was. I was that that's why when people start worrying about me because I wasn't commenting on anything, I was just laying up in the room up there just either hoping to die or, or, or get better, but you know, now most you, of the time you, it was just to die. Just, you said Jenny yeah. and Claudie Bear, they were still in the house. Did they pick up the yes. virus or not? No, they did not, thank God. And well that's because Jenny and Claudia that whenever they would even see me, I was like I was like a Sasquatch. I would you know they, were, <laughs> they didn't actually there were sightings of me, but they didn't really come near me. But when they did they would spray. The, 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 uh, it's funny because I don't have a sense of uh, 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 smell no. yet or taste. And, and Claudia, Claudia says, I started to get that too. She goes, but I realized I, I wasn't sick. It's just the Lysol is in my lungs. <laughs> oh, no. Because, yeah, my wife has Lysol the house to the point of where no one can smell anything. All right. just, uh, so, Je yeah. so Jenny and Claudia, they, they took care of you. They were, they were your, your nurses. Uh, now, is, is Claudia, they, they, is Claudia in the house still or not? 
Yes, she's over here with the, with the other with the, our other doctor, Doctor Cheeto. Doctor yeah. Cheeto. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Claudia Bear. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How was the patient? Uh, you know, over those couple of weeks where you had to take care of him. He he was good. It was it was scary because he's normally in high spirits, as we know, as we all know, and he was kind of down in the dump, so it was kind of scary. Yeah. For a how, bit. how did you feed him? Because I know what kind of food he likes. Did you have to slide it under the door, or I'm just oh, trying to picture how yeah. you fed him? <laughs> just toss him food yeah, and just yeah. close the door. The door would open up. <laughs> I could see the light saw. The food would fly at me. The door would shut. <laughs> that was it. Wow. And, and so what, what were yeah. kind of stuff were you feeding him, Claudia? Because I, I know that uh, you had to make sure you got the food up to him. What were you feeding him? Oh, I was, you know, what was weird is I was just trying to find my taste hospice food. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, but I, I just wanted something salty or something greasy, just something to try to shock my my taste buds. Because, wow. I, I, you know, I, and, and that's I, I would just tell him, I said, make me whatever you like. The other night, she just made me this bean dish with that was spicy. But it's just because I, I, I need something to, to shock my my smell back. But you guys yeah. are OK now. You, you are healthy now. Is that right, Willie? I think so. We're still, I mean, we're still, uh, 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 I mean, we're still uh, separated to the point. This is the closest I've been to my daughter in a month. And I want, I, I want so bad to hug her and kiss her and everything, but we're going <laughs> to, we're going to give it a little bit longer. So uh, we'll just get ourselves out of the woods. And, and the, the point here more than anything, Lou, is this is for real. This is scary. This is nothing to play around with. If, you know, I mean, keep isolating, keep uh, uh, sheltering in place until they tell you not to. Okay. That's it. Well, Willie, uh, it's great to see your face. Great to see you smiling again. And Claudia Bear, thank you. thank you so much for taking care of our friend Willie and take care of your dad. You did a great job. <laughs> Thanks yes. for having and, me. And, thank and tell you. your mom, too. Tell Jenny uh, she did a great job, too. And Wilfredo, uh, we could follow you along on Facebook. You guys are doing Facebook Lives now uh, to give you yeah. updates throughout the, the next couple of weeks. So thank you for doing that, pal. You take care of yourself. And uh, Willie, wash your hands. I know where they've been. <laughs> like Punch's Pilot, I wash it. Uh, all right, now, Willie, we, got, we have to give a virtual high five. Uh, okay, I want you to take your uh, take your uh, right hand, turn it the other way, turn it the other way, turn your take your right hand, turn it the other way, other way, Willie. Face it out, face it out. One, oh, okay. two, three. Now, go to go to your right. One, two, three, go. Perfect. There it is. That's our virtual Thank high you. five. Claudia did it too. A three way high five, virtual high five. You guys take care of yourself. We'll see you later. You there too. it is. Nice to see you. Willie and Claudia Farrell. Again, Willie Farrell having COVID-19. He is better. Again, again, distance yourself from everybody and get over this. We can all get through this together. We'll be right back.